What's up guys, I got a brand new video for you today. This is the new Tamron 17 to 70 millimeter f2.8. So we're gonna test this out, 17 to 70 on an APS-C camera like the A6100. I'm using roughly a 24 to 105. So it's gonna be interesting to check this out and uh, we're gonna do kind of a creative shoot with Marissa in this car. This isn't gonna be like a typical review because we're just doing a creative shoot with it. So yeah, see how this lens holds up. The lighting I'm using for this shoot is some new lights from Godox, the SZ150R and the new tube lights, the TL60. I'll be doing a review on these lights later. Let's start with the back seat. All right, so I'm gonna gaff tape the seat belt up, disintegrating as I touch it. No. Nice, seat. so if you're leaning in that back corner there. How will I get this to stay? Yeah, tilt your head off, perfect. We're going wide with this first shot. Eye detection's so fast on this lens. I'm getting a cool haze off the glass, but that's probably because there's fingerprints all over it. Are you able to bring the coat down so the shiny part of it hangs down a little more? Look towards me and lean a little more into your hand. Chin up just a bit. Nice. Okay, looking out towards the dashboard. One, nice. Hold that. You punch the wall? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this wall. <laughs> yep. Nice, now look straight out towards the front of the car. Chin down just a little. I want to get some foreground objects, like the door, part of the door. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Look down again. I was kind of, I kind of like that. Yeah, I mean, like the eye detection is literally no problem on this lens. It's perfect. Yo, that's. This is cinematic. More of like a green, like a dirty, grungy green. Okay, so I really like this. So I'm gonna turn the power up on it. Yes, this is way more moody. That's what I want. Um, bring this leg in a little closer to the edge of the... Can you kick it down maybe? Thank you. Yeah, cool. All right, let's switch to the front seat. Tamron's been making some killer lenses lately and this lens is no exception. The autofocus is super fast, quiet, and accurate. The optics are very sharp. It's dust and moisture sealed, as well as it has optical stabilization. The zoom range of 17 to 70 at f2.8 makes this insanely versatile for any type of shooting. The lens feels really well made. It's not heavy for a zoom lens, and it feels very similar to their popular 28 to 75 f2.8 that I reviewed a while ago. Just keep in mind that this lens is only for APS-C cameras, and it will work on Sony full frame, but only in crop mode. Um, okay, so looking down again, okay. we'll start from down, yeah. up, and tilt it a little bit off to your left. Perfect. Looks really cinematic. Yeah, so hold that pose. Three, two, one. Keep holding that. I'm at uh, 35 millimeter right now. I'm gonna punch in a little closer. Beauty. I'm gonna go manual focus with it because I want to see how close I can actually get. Oh yeah, I can get really close with this. How close am I right now? Um, pretty close, like an inch. Like almost touching it. The other nice thing about this lens is it doesn't have much focus breathing. Look 
this is manually focusing it. There's not really much focus breathing at all. This looks like an album cover for something. All right, three, two, one. So Marissa drives with one knee up. <laughs> Just a matter of getting the right amount of uh, contrast between the two. All right, here we go, three, two, one. The autofocus is snappy. So let's have you sitting outside of the car now. Stay on its own. And chin up just a little. Let your hand relax a little more. Just like, like this. Man, having a lens like this would be sick on full frame. Like, it, I guess they do make the full frame version like 24 to 70 or 24 to 105, but not f 2.8. Nice. All right. I think we're done in the car. Let's uh, do a couple shots outside the car. Yeah. Keep going. It's about all I can do. Okay. Look dead straight on with me. Don't tilt your head this time. How how awkward is it? Far back, but I don't mind. Oh, I thought you were okay. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna try and get like a nice headshot at 70 millimeters here. Maybe it makes more sense if you're sitting on the hood yeah. for that. Okay. So look off. Yeah, perfect. Your car just broke down the side of the road. You're pissed. Your battery died. So I just decided to have a nice photo shoot. One more. I think that's it. So I've really enjoyed shooting with this lens and for the type of zoom range you get on an APS-C camera, it's kind of one of those lenses that could replace all of your lenses and that paired with the fact that it has optical stabilization makes it a no-brainer, especially for cameras without IBIS. And it's not even that expensive, it comes in at $800 US. And I know this wasn't a typical review, but this lens is super sharp. All right, thanks a lot for watching this video, you guys, on the Tamron 17 to 70 f2.8. We shot some cool shots today with this lens and I want to say thanks to Marissa for modeling and Mila for shooting behind the scenes. That's basically it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.